Cold Feet, the <laughs> return of <laughs> the ITV uh, romantic comedy drama. Um, as those of you who listened to the uh, Desert Island drama series that we did know, and if you didn't, you should listen to it. Um, this is one of Luke's favourite dramas of all time. This is coming back after 13 years of being off air. ITV brought it back. Original writer Mike Bullen has sort of um, imagined that the cast of still, the characters have still known each other for the last 13 years, and this sees them sort of all back in Manchester. Adam's come back uh, to see his son and try and get his wedding. And uh, Luke, um, you did enjoy this. I heard you uh, very eloquently on the radio last Friday. Talk. Yes, I, wa- I was eloquent on the radio. Um, <laughs> just to clarify that. TV revivals make me nervous. I've been bitten so many times by looking forward yeah. to something I love coming back. And then it comes back and it's just not got the magic. And as Matt said to me when he went to the screening... What they did so perfectly was they didn't waste all the time on, you know, meet having these people meet up again. They'd already known one another, as you said. Already, they hadn't uh, lost I mean, contact. The, the They're board. already established. There was no real awkwardness. It just kicked in. In fact, I think you could watch the final episode of episode five of series five, and jump straight into this. And apart from the fact they've aged. I think you can enjoy it. It was funny, it was touching, it was sad. There's nothing like it on TV, there's nothing like it on the BBC, there's nothing like it on Channel 4, and Gary only lasted 15 minutes, despite the fact that he said he would watch it for me and Matt for proper discussion. Yeah, no, whoa, 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 whoa. I never said I'd watch all of it. If I wasn't enjoying it, I wasn't going to keep watching it. If you'd asked me and Luke to watch something... We both would have watched the whole thing, even if we hated it. We would have sat through and watched the entire thing out of yes. respect for you and out of respect so we could talk about it and say why we hated it, you know, yeah. give it the full time. We'll, we'll know, we don't know that because I've we never asked you, you to do that. I've never asked well, you, you to do that. And you're not going to again now because you didn't make it all the way through cold feet. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. fair enough. Matt. Your views as well. I want your views. Well, if you well go people on, who read the, the review, they'll know. Yeah. But if if they don't want to read the review, they just tune Why into the they? podcast. Here. Well, <laughs> if they just tune, if they're on a train, that it'll make them feel oh, uh, sick. Okay, to okay, read okay, the okay. I feel very much the same as Luke does. Probably, I mean, I haven't got the same uh, connection to it maybe as Luke, but obviously, I mean, I I watched it when it was on before and I enjoyed it, and I think I enjoyed all the th- same things you did. It was funny. I mean, the, I think the bit that both both me and you, I think, teared up a bit was a bit where Adam and his son were outside the house mm. and yeah. talking about Rachel and things like that. And yeah. um, and and both of us have seen the second episode, and that that goes on and is as good. I just think it, I think got the it's chemistry, better in the chemistry's a way. there. The sort of balance of the laughter and the poignancy and everything like that. The youngster playing uh, Matthew Adamson, I think he's very good as well. It all fits together very well, and this is one of those programmes where it feels right that they've brought it back. I love that photo. Mm. Have you not got a more recent one? That is recent. Mm. Well, she's young, isn't she? Not really, she's 30. Oh, wow. 18 years younger than you. Just a number. Yeah. 18. So where did you two meet? Oh, it was very romantic. Tinder? No, not this time. I thought meeting her would be an anti-climax, but... It was just the opposite. A climax? No, that was the second time. And six months later, you're married. Yeah, moving in together to this fantastic apartment that we find. Well, Angela found. Well, congratulations. We're all delighted for you. Yeah. Well, I hope you'll be as happy as I thought me and Jenny were going to be. Oh. <laughs> How was your flight? It was good. Pete met me at the airport. Something of a surprise. Did I mention I'd been laid off? About a year ago. Still. Things are looking up. I've got two jobs now. What's the other one? Carer. Wiping old people's arses. Pay's not great, but the, the job satisfaction more than makes up for it. Really? No. What do you mean you didn't know? You talk for hours online. What, what the hell do you talk about? United. And City. Mm. Important stuff. Gary hasn't seen any of it because he just got to the end of the, of the first yeah. break. Well, 
if I can explain, because I feel I've been a little bit attacked on this podcast. <laughs> I don't know if I think personally, but I wonder well, why. No, if I, I haven't had a chance to explain, and here's the explanation. After yeah. watching 10, 15 minutes, I was confused. I didn't know who these people were, so I stopped watching. Because it's clear, and as both of you have said, this is like a seamless carry-on from the, from, from the last thing. I know their lives have carried on, but they didn't do anything to bring in new viewers. They went straight into old situations, new relationships, but, but, but very much those kind of, like the, the, as you say, which is fine for people who are fans of the show. But as a new viewer, I had nothing to hold on to. They went straight into telling me about who these people are, and I had no, I got no idea, no way to follow. So that's why I. Stopped. Well, what didn't you understand? I don't understand the dynamics of the relationship. I don't understand why he's in Singapore. Well, we don't. We didn't know that. We didn't know he was in. Singapore. We don't know why he's no, in but Singapore. Sure, but, but you knew he left at the end of the no, last series. No, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. Well, we didn't. that seemed that seemed that seemed like it was obvious. But anyway, and also I didn't know what the relationships between them were. Two of them are married and two of them aren't married. You didn't get that and you didn't know that until you, at least You know halfway. that now. But no, but that's fine. But then try and do... That's what I'm saying is it, they weren't but, aiming uh, Gary, this. Just, you, just hold on, no, hold on. Let me no, finish. Okay. Let me finish. They didn't aim this at new viewers. And that's fine. This is a nostalgia thing. And Luke and you are right. It was meant for those people who have watched the series before. That's the reason I didn't carry on. All the things you put up are things that we didn't know either. No, well, and I, but the thing is, I didn't know that until speaking. You, so you I'm didn't saying. know. But your your point is that you, these put these things are things that you should know if you watched it before. But all the things that you put up are things that me and Luke didn't know either. Because well, no, no, no. You you knew you knew that there were six people and there was three couples, didn't you? Yeah, but yes, I didn't know. Well. I, I, well, I, so I didn't know that they weren't couples anymore. We didn't know that. I don't think they'd split up. Certainly, no. uh, the John Thompson and Faye Ripley couple weren't together at the end of the last series and have since so, got together. I think they could have done a, a, a recap or something. That's all I'm saying is... I, 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 I understand where you're coming yeah. from, but at the same time, fans of the show and people who've watched it are, are coming at a similar angle because a lot of the stuff that's happened in the interim is stuff that we didn't know going in. There could have been a better storytelling device, whether it be a new character whether it had been there some was. sort of recap that could have helped people. Because I think there was, was a new character, you just didn't get to that point. And well, also, it's a shame earlier. because... I mean, her. First you didn't get to... It's a shame because you didn't get to all the rhythm of the dialogue that Matt and I talk about. And the... Anyway, Cold Fit continues Monday nights for the next seven weeks, nine o'clock. It did exceptionally well on overnight figures alone. It got 66 million viewers universal praise <laughs> bar one <laughs> well, no, and, I, uh, i'm not I'm, i didn't i'm not i'm not saying anything i didn't hate what i watched I did didn't. you enjoy the dialogue or anything not, or? not really because i didn't understand any of the content i just think yeah i don't know i don't think you gave it a go till i think you should have given it a go to the end and seeing if you still had that feeling at the end of the maybe end. but i i i didn't so what do you think that you shouldn't be getting married oh shut up here, this will be tighter in the back. Tighter in the back. Mm. I just don't understand why you are. Because Angela's only got six months to live. Oh, my God! That's not true. I just had her to shut you up. Adam, oh, seriously? Oh, Jen, do you remember what it was like to fall in love, eh? Well, vaguely. You know, the agony when he doesn't call, the ecstasy when he does. Sorry, is this Pete we're talking about? Oh, yeah. That's what it's like for me with Ange. That's because it's early days, you know, the first flush of romance. You don't get married off that. You wait till it's passed and then see if you can still stand the sight of each other. No, well, we can't. So, so what did you watch instead? I don't remember what I watched. It was, was that, oh, Monday night? A, thrill, a thrilling, you know, I can't remember. diversion. <laughs> I can't remember what I did yesterday. Come on. That's why we need I... the TV diary back. Yeah. No, I don't remember what I watched. I can't remember. I know okay. I watched the quiz programmes and Try Cold Feet and then I turned over. But I will be speaking to Mike Bullen on on well later this week. Well, Monday. Pass on my best. On, I will. He, yeah, he, he will. will he will ask. You on the podcast. Yeah, he will yeah. ask oh, whether you oh, watched wait, I mean, it. I, 
I, yeah, no, I, actually, giving that feedback, because that is at least constructive feedback to an extent, yes. I think. There's a question like... for him, then. Did you think that you, you've done enough to like, welcome But I, I don't think they wanted to. I think this... Oh, no, I think they did. No, I don't... Well, no, per- they... personally, I didn't. Anyway. Okay. But it's been 13 years, so, it, I mean, even I have I've only watched yeah. the whole series twice in that 13 like my years. my mother, for example, who will have... Watched all the episodes. Oh, what's happened there? You used to call yeah. her your mum. What's happened there to call my her your mother? mother? <laughs> okay, my mum. My, that's weird now, yeah. My my mum. <laughs> uh, she. Uh, we had the fallout. <laughs> yeah. She um, watched it all and loved it. Because I was saying, are you going to watch Cold Feet? Oh, yeah, I love Cold Feet. But I think if you yeah. asked her, uh, oh, what happened to the couples at the end of the last series, she wouldn't remember. Not a clue. No, not a clue. 